Do you hear the voices too? Give yourself to the ruinous powers as today we talk tactics on the master of possession. Anvil of War! Let's talk tactics! What's up guys, we're here today talking about a new model for the Chaos Space Marines range uh, known as the Master of Possession. This guy came out with the new Shadow Spear box set release and he is a Psyker character with some very new and interesting tools uh, available to the Chaos Space Marines. Um, he's your standard space, Chaos Space Marines character. Uh, he hits on threes, he has strength four, he moves six inches. Um, he has a bolt pistol and a force stave. Um, so nothing really out of the ordinary for a Psyker model, um, but he has access to the Malefic Discipline, which is something new and has some very interesting options within it to manipulate your army. Okay, so the Master Possession doesn't have a lot in terms of war gear that you can change. Um, he comes stock, which is kind of the trend we're seeing with Games Workshop models nowadays, is they, they're kind of coming out of the box monopose. But he comes with his force save and his bolt pistol, and you can't really change them unless you give him relics. Um, how you can give your master of possession some flavor is the psychic spells that you give him, uh, which he can cast two of. Um, personally, I have a couple of the favorite psychic powers on the Malefic Tree, and we'll talk about them a little bit right now. Um, Cursed Earth is probably my go-to for the master of possession. This gives plus one to the invuln of Legion Demons around him. Um, this is great. Um, another really good one is Infernal Power, uh, which he boosts the uh, ability to do damage output with your possessed or your demon engines around him. Uh, another one is Sacrifice, which is kind of a healing spell, which I use with my Nurgle armies, so it's kind of nice to have that option in the Chaos Space Marines uh, range now as well. All right, using a Master Possession is very interesting because you have a lot of different options with what you can do with them. Not being a named character, you can include multiple of them in an army, um, and they can each play different roles within a Chaos Space Marines force. So right off the bat, narratively and tactically, you want to use the Possessed with the uh, Master of Possession. It's in the name, it's the name of the game, and honestly, uh, they work really well with this character. Now, Possessed are a great kind of hard-hitting melee unit, um, that can screen your master possession. He can move around with them and uh, really kind of buff them to be even harder hitting than they already are. Let's take this up a notch and include the new Greater Possessed, uh, which give plus one strength to all of the possessed around him, um, but also will benefit from a lot of these spells uh, that he can cast. So this can be a really good blob unit. You can put them in a rhino and transport them. You can put them in a land raider if you wanted to go that way. Um, they can kind of jump out and just clear infantry uh, because they're very strong in combat and especially with all the buffs from the greater possessed and the master of possession spells, uh, you can have some really horrifying stuff going on from a very offensive standpoint. Uh, this can be moving forward, this can be attacking objectives, this can be running back and, you know, unbogging a, a vehicle that might be stuck on infantry. Um, there's a lot of things that they can do and they're kind of a can opener unit that can run in and uh, free things up or just go on the assault. So another thing the Master of Possession can really help is demon engines. Um, I only have a Forge Fiend at home, um, so he's kind of more of a gun line style. Um, but certainly increasing his invuln save uh, can help him survive the anti-tank fire that's coming in. Uh, sacrifice, especially if you have a warpsmith nearby, can heal vehicles really fast. And the warpsmith would lose a wound uh, when you cast a spell on him, but you're getting three wounds back on a model that's usually T7 uh, with multiple wounds. And that's good, if you ask me. Um, Forge Fiends are kind of backline. They have a lot of guns, but you have the Mauler Fiends and you have the new Venom Crawler models, uh, which you can run with the Master of Possession and go on the offensive with. My only issue is that the Master of Possession is still only six inch movement, um, so he might not be able to keep pace with something that's a little faster moving, but that's what rhinos are for. So if you wanted to throw him in a rhino and jump him out at the time of when they hit combat, that's also something you can do too. Uh, we also have our obliterators. Now, obliterators, these are the older models. They're not as big as the new ones that came in the Shadow Spear box, but I had them painted for this video today. 
A blitz are fantastic because they can hide by being in deep strike and when they show up they hit hard. Um, the master possession can move around the map, he could be screened by cultists or possessed or he could be in a vehicle, but when the blitz come you can drop them right on the master possession and then he can give his buffs to them. Whereas he doesn't buff their shooting, he definitely buffs their survivability and a blitz being able to shoot for multiple turns can really do a lot of damage to your opponent and the master possession can kind of keep them alive just a little bit longer um, that they can do even more amounts of damage. Some newer content to really boost that master possession is uh, Vigilist 2. Um, I call it Vigilist 2, but the Vigilist Ablaze book uh, has the Demonkin Ritualists uh, specialist attachment. This is specifically geared towards your master possession with Possessed. Um, you have the ability to boost his force stave into a burning rod, which is just a plus three strength force stave, which can get pretty gnarly with some certain spells, like he can threaten vehicles at that point. Um, but Shepherds of the True Faith, uh, which basically is mortal wounds on uh, wound rolls of six plus when they're within six inches of the master of possession. So this could increase the damage output of the possessed or the greater possessed. Um, by a lot. So I would I would look at the Demon King Ritualists. It's only a command point to access it and uh, it just unlocks two more stratagems for use um, and it also kind of boosts your master possession and makes him more of a buff character than he already is. So all in all a really cool new mini. Um, you can't really get enough aura characters. I really kind of play my death guard that way and I find him to be really interesting because he unlocks more of an elite army with the possessed. Um, I certainly want to try it. I certainly want to get more possessed on the table for you guys and uh, get the master possession out there on the battlefield. Sponsored by... If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe to our channel for all things chaos. No, that's not true. They've had... Cut this out. Just cut that out. <laughs> Two, one, can slurp. Perfect. Cut. Cut. Cut.